everybody, this is Dave from Tailgate 365. I just wanted to continue the fine tradition of Tailgate 365 unboxings because if we are about anything at tailgate365.com, it's about unboxing shit. So today, we're going to be opening up something that you could only buy around here starting today Yingling beer. This is a uh, as you can see, the traditional amber lager. I've also picked up a little sixer of the black and tan. You can see I'm doing this uh, here at my plain old desk that I've owned for 20 years because uh, I don't get shit from anybody. Uh, there's no fancy bar here. You'll also notice there's no koozie, no other uh, beverage containers. I did provide my own beer glass for this special event that I've just taken out of the freezer. We're going to get to that in a minute. But first of all, let's take a quick look around here. We've got a uh, traditional six-pack uh, container here, vaguely rectangular cardboard, I would judge, uh, by the construction here. The uh, Yingling and Sons, you can see the YS there, Yingling and Sons. Logo, clearly meant to evoke some feelings of patriotism and history. After all, Yingling is the oldest brewery in America. Started up in what, I think, uh, Pottsville, Pennsylvania, 1829, so we're looking at quite a while in business, and only today, in 2011, could you get this in the Cincinnati area. Now, I've heard my friends talk about this stuff for ages, about how great it is, about how it's the best affordable beer on the market, and we're going to find out in a minute. Uh, so there's the, the traditional, original amber lager packaging, uh, green bottles, eh? Won't ding them too much yet for that. Uh, let's switch over here real quick to the black and tan, which uses the more sensibly colored brown bottles, protects the beer. Uh, I've got a bigger version of our Yingling and Sons Eagle there. Kind of the black and red motif, kind of tapping into that whole Irish feeling uh, that people have about some great black and tan. So I'm, I'm eager to try this dark brewed porter and premium beer. We're gonna we're gonna give these a shot. Looking at the individual here, we've got some uh, six of these bad boys. Pretty standard beer bottles, as uh, as you can see. Not a whole lot to talk about there. Again, I'm more of a fan of the the brown bottle, the opaque bottle. But uh, well, let's break into these things before they get warm. And I see that the uh, the fine folks at Yingling have done us the courtesy of not requiring a bottle opener. So, let's... Smells good. Smells like a pretty light American lager. Let's decant. See what we get. Nice amber color there. Nice pour. Thank you very much. Nice medium amber color, about what you'd expect from an American lager. Let's go ahead. Let's go in. Give it 100%. Now, I've never had this beer before in my life, so you guys are witnessing something really special here. I'm glad that you tuned in to share this moment with me because we couldn't be together at my wedding. We couldn't be together when the kids were being born, because that's just weird. Plus, you know, there's just some things you can't unsee. Um, but I'm glad you were here for this. That's good. It's a lot richer than I expected it would be for, you know, a $6 for a six-pack American lager. It's got a lot more... It's it's not it doesn't have a lot of bite but it definitely has a lot more uh, I, I don't know a little more hoppy flavor to it than a lot of other uh, bigger produced American lagers. It's good. Nice and smooth. I could get used to that. This could be my everyday beer, which is saying a lot because I'm not a big. Uh, I'm not a big lager fan, generally speaking, and more of an ale guy, more of a Belgian wheat ale style kind of kind of guy. But uh, 
I can live with that. Especially, you know, for the money. That's a good logger. Now, technically, I should be cleansing my palate before I do this. But since I neglected to buy crackers at the grocery after using them all in tomato soup yesterday, we're just going to commit a minor violation of etiquette here and just dive right into the blackened pan. So here we go. Get ready. Yingling, original black and tan. Day one. Yeah, that's good. <clears throat> that's definitely good. They're both good, but but being more of a fan of real heavy beers, I think this is definitely the direction I would be going versus the, the lager, which is good in its own right. But this is a uh, this is a lot closer to the, what I would prefer to drink on it, you know, any given Sunday, so to speak. It doesn't have that real bitter taste that you get out of a lot of porters. It's just kind of a nice medium, kind of like a mild brew coffee. You still get the coffee, but you're not getting that Sumatran like thickness that burns your throat. That's good. That's very good. So, to close this out, now available in the Cincinnati area, Yingling, Yingling Brothers, traditional lager, black and tan. For the money, I don't. I think it would be hard to beat these. I uh, I will count myself as a repeat customer, just as soon as I I get through uh, the other ten of these, which you know it's already late. I got to get started. So thanks again for tuning in.